Along the way, I had a fascinating reminder of the connections that have linked countries around the Indian Ocean for hundreds of years. It's incredible, we just stopped to help a rickshaw that's got some sort of problem. And it's loaded with what appears to be black Africans. We're driving through rural India. These are the Siddhi people, the descendants of black Africans who live in communities close to the coast in this area and across India. Vikas and I went to meet a local leader. Vikas, meet Simon. Namaste. Simon, Mohammed. Namaste. Salam alaikum. Very nice to meet you, sir. Who are the Siddhis? Who are the Siddhi people? The Siddhis are descended from Africans who came to India. The Muslim princes brought us here from Africa. We have been in Gujarat for 600 years. They were brought here as slaves. They were brought here to work because the Siddhis are hard working people. Hello ladies, namaste. African ladies wearing saris. The movement of Africans to India has been little studied, but over centuries the cities have found their own place in Indian society. Mohammed is saying the communities live very harmoniously and that's pretty unusual frankly in this country which has suffered such caste and communal and religious conflicts over the, over the generations. Quite wonderful to hear him saying, no, we, we get along fine. Oh, it's the cutest scene. Mohammed took us to a local school, which was full of city children. Namaste, salam alaikum. Do any of you know where Africa is? Could any of you come and point to where Africa is on the map? Come on, mate. Africa, catch a map Yay! <laughs> Clap everybody, come on! The children are kept in touch with their history. After they came here as slaves, they were soon recognized as being very hard working. They were particularly good at working with wood. They were spread right across India. But because of their skills in carpentry, they were brought to Gujarat. They came to Gujarat in 1411, so before 1411, we don't know much. Merchants were trading huge distances across the Indian Ocean, centuries before the Atlantic was explored and Columbus reached America. Yeah, they weren't all just slaves as well. So many Africans came as sailors, as merchants, as traders, as soldiers, as warriors to, to India. It's still very hardly known about in India itself. But this is all about people traveling across the Indian Ocean. The ancestors of these little children here were blown across the Indian Ocean by the monsoon winds many, many years ago. Some experts think millions of Africans traveled to India. Many were slaves, but they also came as merchants and warriors. There's even believed to have been an African king in central India. All around the Indian Ocean, cultures have mingled. Sometimes people traveled willingly, sometimes they were forced. The ancestors of the villagers here may well have been traded through the East African slave market I visited in Zanzibar on the first leg of my Indian Ocean journey. Centuries have passed since their ancestors arrived, but the city still performed dances with African roots. This group appears at temples for money. 